Hello lovely and welcome to another edition of Sean's Two Cents in the lovely hot tub. And today I'm reviewing AEW's Windy City Classic 10. Very enjoyable show. We start off with Lewis Linden, one of the most underrated guys in the Indies this year. He's had a great year. in IW, AEW is killing it everywhere. Versus Shane Hoster. And what an opening match, too. And back and forth. A very athletic contest. It went about 20 minutes. They told a great story. Just a very awesome match. Lewis Linden gets the win. Just really good right here. The next at the AIW Heritage title. Christian Faith defending against Merrick Ray. Not a big fan of Merrick Ray. Not a big fan of Ricochet and Page's ass. Christian Faith. It was a blob match for me. It was alright. Nothing special here. Christian Faith retains. Then we had Justice Jones and Marion Fontaine. Justice Jones just squashed Marion Fontaine. Then we had Chris Saban versus Jimmy Jacobs. A nice battle between both betters. Not as good as you think it would be, but it was a solid match. Not up there as you think it would be, but still a good match. Very enjoyable. Chris Saban wins with some heel tactics. Then we had the AEW type titles, the Wet Bandits, Dan Lawrence, and Marcus Crane defending against White Lovelace and Iron Boss. When you bought the wet bandits, they know how to make an entertaining match. This wasn't a bad match, this wasn't a good match. It was entertaining. And the wet bandits are very entertaining. They win by crook. By hook or truck, they win. And pretty entertaining uh tap title match. They went a burr and street fight, the hooligan for zero gravity. Good good match. Good, good nice weapon spots. Some nice high spots. Some good stuff in Smash. Very entertaining. I think it went a little too long. Uh I forget who won the match. I think, oh yeah, Zero Gravity won. Oh, the Hooligans won. Hooligans won the match. But still, it was a good match. Some nice spots in the match. Then again, one of my favorite matches of the night. Gunner Gunner versus Matt Cage. My God, this is a great match. Told a great story. The striking was awesome. These, these two work really well together. Matt Cage needs to work with these caliber guys like Gargano. And man, this is another notch on Matt Cage's belt. He gets the winner, John Gargano, in an awesome match, which I say... You guys need to check out. Money Mac Cage is the real deal. And right here, he proved that he can hang with the best on the indies. And he hung toe for toe with Gargano. And gave him all he could. Then we had the big Haas fight. We had AEW with the AEW Heavyweight title on the line. Eddie Kingston defending against Cleef Walker. Good old Haas fight. A lot of striking. A lot of uh, Japanese strong style. Eddie Kingston gets the win. This is a good, good uh, hard hitting matchup. I didn't enjoy it as much as every house did, but it was still a solid match. Maybe the Miracle Wizard Moss Mafia, short match, enjoyable tag match, not as good as you think these two are capable of, but the Miracle Wizard get the win. Didn't get the win, I forgot. But overall, this is a very enjoyable show. Not really a bad match on the card. I really think this is an enjoyable show from top to bottom. It really worked up in 9 9. It's night and day compared to a Monsters Rage, which is very skippable. If you, if you want to buy a November show, you don't have the money for both of them, definitely go with uh, the Winnie City Classic. I'm going to surprise you. My match tonight is Johnny Organo versus Matt Cage. Really love the match. Second, Hollister and Linden. And third, the heavyweight title match. Really enjoyed the show. Hollister really, and Linden, that's a really good match. And the young guys really stepped up on this show. Linden really stepped up. Matt Cage really stepped up. So... Good show overall, man. So, as always, follow me on the Twitter machine, at the Sean's Descents. I probably some thank you for calling for the shout-out during commentary. For the Miracles Not Spot Me, I thank you, man. That's pretty cool. Uh, as I was saying, as always, follow me on the Twitter machine, at the Sean's Descents. Getting close to 200,000 uh, followers. Only about 983. It's only about 18 to go. I think less than 18. So, that's pretty cool. Follow me on Twitter. Go to ProSteve.com slash Deshaun Two Cents so you can see more reviews. And maybe we can get a hot tub shirt up soon. Only six away from getting it. So hopefully. And if you have a design for a hot tub shirt, send it in. Tweet it at me. Message me on Facebook. Just send a nice hot tub review shirt. Whatever you come. Use your imagination, people. So, as always, subscribe, like this video, share it, retweet it. As always, keep supporting indie wrestling. And let's have a great day. Peace.